previously on Math Ends On with Python. Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Hands On with Python and today we are going to see how we can estimate parameters of epidemiological model. So as an example, I will use a simple SAR model to illustrate on how we can perform uh, parameter estimation. So here we have our SAR model and uh, you can see we have the uh, susceptible compartment, uh, infected compartment and the recovered or removed or uh, dead compartment. If you sum all together the susceptible, infected and recovered, the sum is equivalent to n which is the total population of the given community. So I'm not going in detail to describe uh, how these uh, individuals move from one compartment to another because we did that previously in the other videos. So if you want that concept you can go through the link in the description below and you can learn more on how you can formulate and understand the, the movement of individuals from one compartment to another. So let us stick to our today objective which is the uh, parameter estimation. Now from this model we have two parameters beta and gamma where the beta represent the rate of uh, transmission of the disease and the gamma is the rate of recovery from infected class. Now let's consider the situation when the disease enters the population at the first time. At the beginning, the number of infected individuals will be very small such that the susceptible class will be equivalently equal to the population of the uh, desired community. So if we implement the concept that the susceptible class is uh, approximately equal to the entire population, then the given equation will be reduced to this form. So if we consider the class of uh, infection, you can see that the derivative of uh, uh, infected class with respect to time will be equal to uh, beta minus gamma uh, multiplied to infected. And uh, if we suppose the difference between beta and gamma equal to k, and we solve this uh, uh, ODE, we will end up with this solution. And when we apply the natural logarithm on both sides of the equation, will end up with this equation. Now, we can estimate the value of k using the data available. The data which I'm going to use is the COVID data, which I'll use to estimate the parameter k, and then later we will estimate this beta and gamma. But uh, we are not going to jump now to estimate this parameter k, because uh, as you can see, parameter k is the difference between beta and gamma. So now let's look at the theoretical perspective of how we can uh, compute the parameter gamma uh, so that when we go into Python, we just move there directly and not going forth and back. So to compute the value of parameter gamma, now let's suppose that uh, the infection uh, is constant. That is, it is equal to i naught. That means there is no more infection taking place in the community. Then from the removed compartment, we have the derivative of the removed class with respect to t uh, equal to gamma times z uh, infected at time t. But this class now, since we have assumed that the infection is constant, uh, we can replace the infection at time t with the constant infection, which is i naught. And if we solve this uh, equation, we'll end up with this solution. So if there is a clear data recorded every regular interval and the infection has stopped as we assumed, you can use this equation to compute gamma. But in a real sense, it is not working like that, that uh, we can have uh, fixed infection, no infection is, con uh, is going on in the population. That is. Uh, uh, real, real, real difficult in real world situation. So what are we going to do? So uh, in order to compute the value of gamma, we are going to compute the value of gamma by computing the average value of rate of change of the removed group such that the product of gamma and the uh, infected class is equal to rate of change of removed class uh, in a particular time interval. 
So this is how you can express that rate of change. So if we suppose that the d is equal to 1, then uh, this equation will be reduced to gamma times infected class, which will be equal to recovered group at time t plus 1 minus recovered group at time t. And finally, we can have the approximation value of gamma for each regular interval. So now we can use these two equations to estimate the coefficient of parameter k there uh, and the, to estimate the coefficient of parameter gamma. So that once we have gamma and we have k, we can find beta. So now let's jump to Python. Okay, this is the data set which I'm going to use and uh, it have uh, several columns. I'm going to use the column for day, uh, infected class and uh, this discharge and the death. I'm going to combine and call them uh, removed class. So if you are new to this channel, please uh, support this channel by subscribing and like this video so that it can be recommended to many viewers. So let's jump to the Python and uh, these are the codes uh, which I'll be using uh, to demonstrate the estimation of parameter. As usual, these are the libraries imported which and uh, will be used. And the first thing you have to import your data. After importing your data, then uh, for my data, it was not looking okay. But uh, as I explained there, I have to combine the discharged and death group so that I can have one group called the removed group. And also I will rename some of the columns so that uh, it can be simple for me to use them in the next section. And after adding the discharged group and death group, I have to create a column into my data set with the, uh, this data and I label it as R. And also I have to compute the log or logarithm of the infected class as you can see on your right hand equation that we have developed for parameter k. And also I'm not going to use the whole batch of data. I'll just use uh, the data from March to April. Let's go back to our data. So this is the data from March uh, up to here April. So this is the only part of data which I'll be using in estimating my parameters. And then you can print out and see what is happening. So we'll do it at the end. Then the next part is the, uh, the part of uh, estimating of our parameter k. And this is the normal uh, parameter estimation which is the ordinary least square uh, method. And uh, if you uh, uh, want to know uh, more on uh, how ordinary list square method works on parameter estimation, you can check my other video for parameter estimation in the regression analysis video. And you can print the summary after estimating and plot uh, some uh, data points that we selected and we will fit the equation we estimated this one. As you can see here, we have to write it and then we will print out uh, the graph and uh, above it we will put the coefficient for our parameter k. And then after plotting we are going to estimate the parameter gamma as we developed in a theoretical part. And this is uh, the way we represent here and uh, we just involve a small loop here so that we can generate or it, we can compute uh, several values of gamma and we store here and then we will use the average of uh, this value as our gamma value. Then we will plot the gamma values which we will be computing here and uh, after plotting those gamma values we can uh, compute the gamma now from uh, this set here of computed gamma values as an average. So we will take this function here to compute the average and after that we will put this value on top of the uh, graph which will be uh, plotted for different values of gamma which will be computed in the loop. Later because we have gamma and we have the 
a slope k here, sorry. And then we can compute the value of beta uh, from the relationship that we have seen that the, the k value we let it equal to uh, beta minus gamma. So from there you can find easily beta coefficient because now we have the gamma value. And we will print all of these together with the basic reproduction number. Uh, I didn't uh, show how to compute the basic reproduction number because I have a video which describes in details on how we can uh, compute the basic reproduction number and the Python implementation of it. So if you want to know how you can compute the basic reproduction number, I have the video for that. You can visit my channel and uh, learn more on how you can compute the basic reproduction number. But here, it's basic reproduction number. It would, uh, it's just simple. Uh, it is beta over gamma. So let's run this code and see the output. Okay, so we have the output. These are the output for the five uh, lines that we commanded here for the data that we generated and transformed. And this is the summary of uh, our estimation of the parameter. And these are the two values of parameter which we took from this summary. As you can see here in code, uh, this is the k value is from uh, variable t and the intercept is this one b. And here below you can see we have the coefficient for gamma, beta, and the basic reproduction number. And these are the output graph. This is the graph uh, which we plotted for uh, computed gamma values and the graph for the parameter uh, k and we fitted the line on its points. And this point are the uh, transformed uh, points for the infected class. So this is how you can estimate parameter for epidemiological model. I take a SAM model as an example, but you can extend this knowledge to other model. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.